Yeah! Welcome back to Lingo Kids Crafts. <laughs> Today, we are going to draw a tasty meal that might just be your favorite food. It is a circular shape. It is made with bread, dough, tomato, cheese, and other toppings. Its most popular topping is pepperoni. Have you guessed it yet? Yeah. That's right. Today, we will be drawing a mouth-watering pizza. Did you know that pizza was created a long time ago in Naples, Italy? At the time, food was very expensive. So, street vendors came up with a solution by creating pizza, which was affordable and delicious. Do you know where Italy is on the map? That's right, right there. Let's start by drawing a big circle. This big circle will be our yummy base. Now, we need to add a smaller version of the same circular shape inside the base circle to create a thick border, like this. We will call the shape Circle 1. Make sure the border is a little thick. This will be the crust. Let's repeat the same process. Only this time, let's add another smaller circle inside Circle 1 to create another border. Make sure the border is thinner than the one before, just like that. That's great! We will call this shape Circle 2. Now on to the fun part! Find the center of the circles. That's right! Right in the middle. And from there, draw four lines that cross in the middle. One vertical, one horizontal, and two diagonal lines. Just like that! Now, we have eight pizza slices. Now, let's make our pizza even more delicious with some toppings. We are going to add olives, pepperonis, and herbs. But you can add whichever toppings you like. First, draw small ovals on top of all the triangles. We will add five small ovals in this drawing. But you can add as many as you want. These small ovals will be our olives. Now draw smaller oval shapes on the triangles again. These shapes are meant to be herbs. Next, draw some circles on the triangles. Some can be smaller or bigger than others. These circles will be our pepperonis. You can even draw circles with a small piece missing, just like the one we are drawing now. Great job, everyone! And now, inside those circles, you can draw small ovals to give our pepperonis a little bit of texture. Now, choose two or three triangles and add a small circle next to their rounded edge. Just like that. Make sure all your different toppings are spread all over your pizza. Did you know that fresh basil is added right after the pizza is baked because it brings out the different flavors in the pizza? We are going to draw some basil leaves right in the middle of our pizza. To do this, draw two small ovals like small leaves that join together in the middle. Draw the first one from left to right and the second one from right to left. Then, erase the parts of the lines that are under the basil. The goal is to show that your leaves go on top of our pizza. Last but not least, draw a line across the center of each of the basil leaves. From the center of the lines, draw two lines going upwards, one to the left and one to the right. Just like that! Wonderful! Now that we've drawn our pizza, it's time to add colors. You can follow our suggestions or create your own color scheme. It's up to you. For our pizza, we'll be using light brown, red, light red, yellow, green, dark green, and black. First, use the light brown crayon to color our main circle, which is our crust. Now, use your light brown and color between circle 2 and our slices, as well as the spaces between them. Beautiful! On to our reds! Use the red crayon to color the tomato sauce inside circle 2. Right there! Great job! Now, take your red crayon to color the small circles we drew inside our pepperonis. Just like that. Boop. 
Take your light red crayon and go ahead to color our pepperonis. Make sure to color around the red circles we just filled in. Our drawing is really coming to life. Now, use your yellow crayon to color the cheese on the slices of pizza. Again, make sure to color around the toppings. Take your light green crayon to color the basil leaves. Now, grab your green crayon to shade the lines we drew earlier. Finally, take your black crayon to color the olives. Voila! Your pizza is ready. Parents, your child has done an amazing job. We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us. More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels. And the full interactive adventure in the Lingo Kids app.